They won off the RLCS majors in the books and it did not disappoint. The mainstream that struggled with technical difficulties all day started things off with Group A's FACE vs version 1. And version 1 came out with a head full of steam. They left FACE no chance and especially Com was fired up in the series, beating them 3-0. In the first game on the B stream, Keso dominated detonators from start to finish and also won the series 3-0 to tie the group up on the top after round 1. In round Two, we saw the first clash between EU and NA with Queso vs V1. Version 1 left no doubt about their aspirations this tournament and took the series with 3 and 1. Just like FaZe beat Detonators on the mainstream with 3 and 1. First killer answered with a solo effort. Helped out no by Demos and he does that again! First killer puts FaZe in the backpack! Oh my goodness, first killer showing up to play today and you heard Roldis, he wants him to step up, be the leader that this FaZe Clan team so desperately needs. With Group A being done for the rest of the day, Group B took off and had the first big upset coming along. Energy lost their game to a hard-fighting Team Furia and remain in the bottom half of their group for the rest of the day because it's their only series as of now. In the other Group B game, Endpoint got the better out of Renegades with a solid 3-1. Group C then had 4 matches again and started off with G2 beating EG 3-1 in their first series of the tournament, while BDS got an expected 3-0 win over Secret. We then saw G2 struggling a bit against a very much improved Team Secret with 3 and 2, but look at this insane sequence from defense to offense from G2 to seal the game. Maybe this one will have it nice no! Goal line stop from Atomic, what a savior! He, he's a magician! How in the world does he come up with that save? He's at the back of the net, he's just faster, he's just better! Woo! G2 are absolutely clapping Team Secret on Champions Field! Unbelievable play from Secret, not only do they make that stop, they turn around, they transition, and they strike with force! After that, all eyes were on the EU matchup between BDS and EG. Not only was it the defending champions BDS on the mainstream, but it was the longest overtime in history of an RLCS LAN event. The overtime in game 4 lasted 10 minutes and 15 seconds and took the number 1 spot from a 9 minute overtime reaching back to season 8. EG eventually won the overtime to equalize the series, but they could not get it done in game 5 and lost 3 and 2, putting them next to Secret in the lower half of their group. The last game between SSG and Dignitas, which was the only game of their group today, because Sandrock Gaming, as most of you know, could not participate and started with Dignitas going 2-0 ahead. Afterwards, there were some technical difficulties again and they delayed the game, but when it resumed, SSG reversed swept the Europeans to start the tournament off strong. And that wraps up day number one for the RLCS Winter Major. But since this is a daily recap and I will do it for all the other days as well, make sure to subscribe. It would mean the world to me and we're gonna be back tomorrow. Until then, bye!